and we are now in Tower Hamlets in Bishop Challoner School. Uh, we're actually working with the boys today, so Year 10 boys, and what, we, what we're running is the Progress of Success program. It's a program that I was talking about in the office when I was briefing some of the staff. So now we're actually in here delivering the program with entrepreneurs in the room. You can see the young people behind me um, with our enterprise manager. Um, my name is Ramat Tajani. I'm the enterprise manager at the Small Business Consultancy. That means I run all the programs and deliver all the programs, facilitate the programs, work with the young people or adults that we work with, um, make sure that they're okay during the programs and after the programs. So we've been setting SMART goals, um, so obviously everything is specific, measurable, uh, attainable, realistic and targetable. Um, so the young people will also have a 30 minute step to, step, step to success challenge. Uh, they've got to go out, find an entrepreneur, get three tips of success, find a dream house on the internet that they want to buy and then get a job description for a job that can buy that house for them that they would do uh, according to their SMART goal. So it's going to be quite an interesting challenge to see how they, see how they perform on that. Um, we're going to end the day by doing a life map. So we've got a Stephen Fear here talking about his life and how he's become successful and a multimillionaire and that's going to be quite interesting and his story on what stepping stones he took. So we're going to use the tube map theory but I won't say any more because uh, I'll be giving away uh, a little surprise and the, the analogy that we're going to use in the, in the classroom later on. So. He didn't start with yes, that. Yes, he started with yeah. clothes flat. Yeah. And it wasn't yeah. unless you're up against but he's made it. He's got an umbrella of companies which includes 60 yeah. other different companies. That's a lot of companies to have. He's a lot of people in there. It's nice to know those kind of people. Yeah. The key thing was that I read all the time. So I read everything. But if I had the opportunity, uh, I, I would, uh, you know, I would go with education as much as I possibly can, but tie it into what you want to do and tie it into uh, creating. There's nothing like creating your own business in your, you know, if you want to be involved in that, you say about JC, he's like, just like, it's great creating your own business, but you can be an entrepreneur in somebody else's business. I mean, you don't have to only have your own business um, and all of that's possible. Everything is possible. So ask me any questions and I'll, and I'll try and answer them for you straight. And for the simple reason that she was not not focused. Yeah. And any of them that got longevity, that have gone on through careers in music or anything, anything like that, uh, whether it's uh, Ronaldo or Wayne Rooney or John Tech, doesn't matter, in football or whatever, they all train, they Paradise. all go turn up on time, they all train. And if they don't, if you don't, you don't, you don't get there. You've got to turn up. You've got to be consistent. And that doesn't matter whether you're in the music business. It doesn't matter whether you're whatever you're doing. Mm. You train. I set out to make money to be free. Mm. I have to be honest with you. My whole purpose for being was that I could control my life, because from my background, I always swore to myself. This is to answer your question. That. You know, I wanted to be free. I didn't want to be the richest man in the graveyard. I didn't want to be better than anyone else or anything like that. I really didn't. What I wanted to be free. I wanted to be able to say, if I want to go on holiday, I can. If I want to buy that car, I can. 